In this shifting real estate market, it seems like both buyers and sellers are paralyzed by the high mortgage interest rates in this current economic condition. We have buyers who want to buy their dream home here in Summit County, but they're afraid of the higher monthly payment that comes along with how interest rates have increased over the last couple of years. We also have sellers who want to sell, but they're concerned about trading in their 3% interest rate for a 7% interest rate on their replacement property. What can we do about this? Hi, it's Pete Dininger with the Breck Life Group right here in Breckenridge, Colorado. In this video, I'm going to walk you through a couple of viable programs available to buyers at any price point that will help them reduce mortgage interest rates. And if you're thinking about selling, stick around because these programs really could entice a buyer who is hesitant to purchase in the current market conditions. We might be able to find the buyer for your home by offering one of these two programs. Let's take a look. Before we take a look at the two different programs, I want to talk a little bit about shadow inventory. You've heard me talk over the course of the last couple of years about shadow inventory, which is sellers who are sitting on the sidelines. They would love to sell their current property because either they'd like to move up to a larger floor plan, or perhaps the family doesn't visit as often as they used to, and they like to downsize in total square footage. But what they're hesitant to do is trade a 3% interest rate for current 7% mortgage interest rates. So we've got a lot of shadow inventory sellers sitting on the sidelines who would love to sell. And I think the two upcoming programs could really help sellers as well as buyers. So let's dive deeper into the two different programs. Okay, we've got two different kinds of mortgage interest rate buy down programs. Let's classify them as either temporary or permanent. First, we'll take a look at a temporary interest rate buy down. And this might be something like a three, two, one buy down. And what that means is for the first year, interest rates would be reduced by three percentage points for the first year, two percentage points for the second year, and one percentage point for the third year in the fourth year going to what the, um, the rate was when you locked at the time of your purchase. So let's look at the pros. The pros of this for a buyer are that the, the buy down is paid for by the seller. So when we have fewer sales like we've been seeing, we often see sellers wanting to do something to incentivize buyers to purchase their property. And we could probably get a seller to make a contribution towards your closing costs and buy down temporarily your mortgage interest rates. So it gets you for a period of three years, a reduced interest rate by three points the first year, two points the second year, and one point the third year. Now, one of, I'm actually gonna show on the screen right now, an example of how this is made up. What happens when the seller makes the credit at closing, all of the funds calculated by your lender must be held in an escrow account controlled by the lender. You, for the period of three years, will make the smaller monthly payment and the amount held in escrow that was contributed by the seller will make up the difference each month. So in essence, the lender is getting, let's just use 7% as an example, the lender is still getting their 7% interest rate each year. It's just that you're paying 4% the first year, 5% the second year, 6% the third year, and at closing, the seller contributed the funds to make up the difference. Now, one of the cons of this type of program is that it is available only for a limited time. You're only gonna take advantage of the reduced payments for years one, two, and three. So it doesn't really affect you most people at the end of three years are optimistic that reduced will, uh, rates will have floated back down to something more manageable. Um, and so it's really a matter of um, you, you're locked into only three years of the reduced payments. The second option is a permanent 
buy down of your mortgage interest rate. Now, the pro for a buyer is that this again must be paid for by the seller. So as we're negotiating the purchase price, we would ask for a seller concession at closing to buy down your interest rate. I need to qualify something here because I used to be confused about this and I think many people don't quite understand. When we hear lenders talk about points, you could buy down your interest rate by discount points. I used to believe that one discount point, which is equal to 1% of the amount of your loan. So in the screenshot that I showed previously, we were using an $800,000 loan amount. So in this instance, one discount point would cost $8,000. And I thought that that got you a reduction of your mortgage interest rate by one point, but they are not equal, they are not the same. So one discount point is 1% of the loan. So in this instance, if a seller contributed one discount point, it would be an $8,000 contribution, but that would not take you from 7% to 6%. Often, or at the beginning of starting at 7%, it is roughly two discount points needed to bring down your interest rate by one point. And of course, each discount point doesn't have the same value in reducing your total mortgage interest rate. The example that this lender gave me recently was it may take as many as six discount points to bring your rate down by two interest points points uh, by two points of your interest rate. So in order to go from a 7% interest rate permanently to a 5% interest rate, it may take six discount points, each one costing the seller $8,000. So it may need to be a seller concession of $48,000 to get you to a 5% interest rate. Now, the good news is that for sellers, it's often more beneficial for them not to reduce their sales price, but just make that concession because it gets you into the loan. The real key summary here is it's important for buyers to speak with their lender and really understand which scenario is better for them. Is it better to have a $50,000 price reduction on the purchase or is it better to have full price offer and get the seller to contribute $48,000 to reduce your interest payments, uh, your interest rate by two points, thereby reducing your payments over the full term of your loan. I think you will see because the lender has shown the example to me, you will find that it is much more beneficial to you, the buyer, to keep that rate low for the permanent duration of your loan. All right, let's take a look at the opposite side of the equation. If you're a seller, you're thinking about listing and selling your property, let's strategically look at the market and price your home or condo appropriately. But if after 30 days, we don't have offers on the table for your property, perhaps rather than reducing the price by $50,000, we can find a way to incentivize the buyer who understands the math and the calculation of a two percentage point reduction in their interest rate for a full 30 year term. It could be the way to, with an acceptable offer that you can entice the buyer to purchase at or near full price. All right, well, that wraps up my summary of the two different mortgage interest rate buy-down programs that could be available for buyers and sellers. One short-term for perhaps three or two years, one a more permanent mortgage interest rate buy-down. There is so much more to discuss about each of these programs and how it affects you as a buyer or you as a seller. So we've been getting a ton of people reaching out with questions for us, giving us a call, sending a text message, whatever the case may be. We are here to walk you through how each of these may benefit you as a buyer or you as a seller. Give us a call. We'll connect you with a lender who can explain all of these principles and get you on your way to home ownership here in the mountains. We'll see you in the next video.